cheap fitness gear that's actually really good. I'm a firm believer that you don't need to spend a lot of money to get in great shape. In fact, most of the items I recommend are under $20 and they'll last a while, if not forever. Forever. So before you go out and spend your whole bank balance on a bunch of fancy wearable tech, I take off these items first. Here's my top six picks. Number one, a combination lock. Boring as fuck, but well worth a mention. If you're gonna be using the public gym, I would highly recommend getting one of these and locking your shit up. Most gyms should sell these at reception for under a fiver, and I'm sure you can get one even cheaper online. Buy one and just keep it in your bag. And ideally don't use a combination like one, two, three, four, or nine, eight, seven, six, for obvious reasons. Number two, a stainless steel water bottle, probably the most essential item on the list. I just got one there relatively inexpensive. You can probably get this for 10 to 15 quid on Amazon. Super durable. I think I've had this for two to three years. And the stainless steel means you're not really dealing with all the residual smells and tastes of a, a typical plastic protein shaker. Alternatively, maybe buy a metal protein shaker. Some supplement companies sell those, but then you're kind of dealing with all the weird branding that they like to put on all their shit. So yeah, just get one of these and stick it in your bag. Number three, a light resistance band. It's probably my favorite item on the list. If you're gonna be doing a decent bit of warm up work and intraset work, getting one of these for shoulder dislocations and pull aparts and face pulls and YTWLs is an excellent shot. Shouldn't be more than a tenner and they typically last around a couple of years. Um, excellent purchase. Number four, push up handles. I think I bought these when I was 16 years old, so the best part of 11 years ago. If you buy a sturdy pair, they'll probably last you a lifetime. I think these are the Adidas Argos Classics from 2013. They're specifically really good for just a bunch of different deficit push-up variations. I actually keep this pair beside my desk for exercise snacks. So whenever I need to get a little bit of a jolt of energy, I just bash out 20 or 30 of these beside my desk and get back to work. Works a treat. If you're also doing a lot of traveling, these don't take up a lot of real estate in a backpack or a suitcase. So if you wanna work out on the go, you don't have access to a gym, these are a great purchase. And realistically, this shouldn't set you back more than 10, 15 quid. Number five, weightlifting straps, really easy pick. They essentially just help you circumvent grip limitations so you can target the muscle better. I'd argue that they can actually reduce the risk of an accident happening. There's been numerous times where I've been dumbbell RDLing in the 50s without straps and my grip's been on the verge of giving out. And the last thing you want is a pair of heavy dumbbells falling on your feet. Dirt cheap, highly effective. You can probably get a pair for five to 10 quid on Amazon. I think there's leather versions as well, which might be worth checking out and probably last a little bit longer, um, but definitely worth a purchase. And number six, chalk or liquid chalk. It's dirt cheap, last ages, and it works. There's a very good reason why strength athletes and Olympians use this before they perform. It essentially enhances your grip by reducing moisture in your hands, protects your skin from damage, and reduces slippage. So you could say it actually improves safety. Now, some of the more commercial gyms don't actually allow the use of any sort of chalk because of the sheer fact that it's just so messy and you can't really blame them, it is pretty messy. The liquid chalk does tend to be a little bit more forgiving, however, which is one of the reasons why I recommend that and it's sheer portability as well. Another thing maybe to watch out for when buying this, however, is the fact that the cap can break quite easily. It's usually pretty flimsy, and the last thing you want is liquid chalk spilling all over your gym bag. Believe me, five ten dollars well worth the purchase. Now, if you were to go out and buy everything on this list, it might set you back about a hundred dollars, and the ROI will be significant. That being said, if you're a total beginner or you're just very new on your fitness journey, I realistically wouldn't stress any of these items other than the water bottle and the lock if you're going to be using the public gym and maybe throw twenty dollars at both of those and just get started so hopefully that helps even a couple of you if you like the video please feel free to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one